so focused on, you know, it's like blinders to everything else when you're sitting here making a pot, you know, and it, so it's, it can even be a, a little bit inward looking, you know, maybe not consciously sitting here to think about what I'm doing and how that affects, you know, the rest of the community and um, how, you know, I become part of a history in a way. So it's a daunting task, <laughs> but you know, you. I'm also thinking about the form, maybe, you know, not quite as consciously. Um, so I want to make sure it's light and and nice looking and all of those things. A desirable shape. There is a sense of not competitiveness, but you know, there are some historic and uh, amazing, amazing potters in this area. A lot of it is, is that thinking about you know, is what I'm doing up to par. I want to keep the the breath that the pot is taking. I want it to come from the chest, you know, not from the belly. <laughs> A good breath comes from, you know, your upper body. You know, I don't want to make it like out to be more than it is, but I think the world needs handmade stuff, you know? I think that it can give people a chance to slow down a little, slow down their lives. And, um, whether it's owning a pots or just stopping by to see what's going on here. Um, inspiring someone else to create. But I do, you know, I do think that, that in today's day and age, we, we need artists. And um, it's, a, it's a love of making something that can be part of someone's everyday, you know.